Hey everybody, today we are drawing some of Keith Haring's most famous symbols and drawings that he did. So this is an easy way to draw Keith Haring figures. So like I said, they can be in all different um, poses, but an easy way, I'm going to start over here, an easy way is to make it like a stick figure first. So a dot for the head, and obviously you're drawing this really lightly. Draw down for the body. And then you've got arms going this way, going that way. You've got legs going like this, and maybe a leg that's just normally, like, just a straight leg. And so we've got that. Then you take a Sharpie or just your pencil again. But Sharpie will just cut out one step. And it's almost like making a bubble letter. So you draw that almost circle for the head. Come around, a little bump for the hand, back in, down for the body, around, so you're drawing the leg, and you just keep tracing around until you've completed it. And then we obviously have to get rid of this middle line. But that's one just simple, easy way to draw the figures. So another pose of his that's really famous is, it's really hard to describe these because they're just like dancing. Um, but you basically have the head and then you've got these arms doing like some kind of interesting dance. Who knows what kind of dance. And then the legs are actually standing together. The legs are together. So I'm just doing the the one line and you'll see why. But I just needed that shape for the arms to trace around and for the head. So you draw the head and the shoulders are kind of up and the elbows are up. Trace around. Lines down for the body. I'm just gonna keep going. Bump out for the foot. And bump out for the other foot. Come back up. And draw a line where the two feet meet. Okay. And then obviously I forgot to do the motion lines around, but they've got like some kind of interesting motion lines going on. And I forgot to do that for this one as well. So you kind of just have to do the lines wherever you think they would be to show that motion. Okay, and then we just erase. And then you would just fill in this outline with one color. So you just choose a color to fill it in with. And yeah, it's done. So I'm just going to write his name, K-E-I-T-H-H-A-R-I-N-G, Keith Haring. 
So we're gonna start with a really simple one. This is the most simple one that he has. And it's basically just a heart, but it has lines radiating out from the heart. So we start, sorry, my Sharpie is squeaking. We start drawing the regular size lines and then you can go in between and draw some shorter ones. And then it looks like it's radiating. So that's the first one. The next one that is in so many of his drawings um, is the cookie cutter people shape. Um, so we're gonna start by drawing the head as just part of a circle. Don't close it off. And these can be drawn in any pose that you can think of really but I'm just going to go with one of his most famous. So a little bit behind the circle, I'm gonna start drawing lines up and curve around and down for the arm. Go to the other side, do the same. And there's a little bit of a bump for your hand. Lines down. Bump for the feet. Whoops, then come back down. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. We're practicing here. And the other foot. And we're gonna draw some motion lines around that. And this makes it look like the person is kind of jumping. Like I said, there's tons of other poses that you can put the person in but we're gonna move on we'll do another pose let's do uh, like a dance pose so again we start with the circle for the head and he's kind of like to the side a line for the arm and the elbow a bump for the hand, come back down, curve for the body, down for the knee, a bump for the foot, back up, back in, go across, You can bend this knee as well. And then the arms. And the important part that makes it look like a Keith Haring drawing is to add those lines that show that movement So it looks like the person is moving that way and they're moving their arm. And this foot is also moving. All right. Now we're gonna draw um, the barking dog. So I'm gonna draw it down here. And it may be easiest for you to draw this with a pencil so you can get the basic shapes and break it down into shapes. So I'm gonna switch over to a pencil. I'm going to draw a rectangle long ways and kind of draw it lightly and pressing down with my pencil so you guys can see what I'm doing, but try to draw yours lightly. I'm going to draw another little sideways Drawing another sideways rectangle for the tail. Rectangles for the legs. And his dogs have the little triangle ears. 
and then they always have these really long kind of like snouts okay so it's kind of like messy looking right now but we're gonna sharpie it and fix that and I will time lapse to do that so there is my barking dog figure and it will help to erase those pencil lines and that's just one way you can draw it that's a little bit easier and um, if you want to just draw it straight on with the sharpie that's another way let me get rid of all these pencil lines that way all you're left with is the outline of the figure and that's the thing about Keith Haring's drawings is that his figures are just the outlines. They never have any details other than the motion lines and they're just the outline. So, um, next we're gonna draw the radiant baby. Sounds kind of um, funny, but this is another very, very popular image for Keith Haring's drawings. So just the way we started the other ones, this baby is crawling, but just the other way we started the other ones is we're gonna draw the head, but it's going to be to the side because it's crawling. Draw a line and a bump that curves in. Go out, down, and back up. This is the leg of the baby that is crawling. Okay, and you leave that line just there. You're going to do a little bump for the other foot. Down, bump up, and connect it to the head of the baby. Other foot, and then you just draw a little connector right there. And you may want to do yours like with the body being shorter, the torso being a little shorter so that it looks like a baby. But like I said, this is just practice. So we're just getting the feel for it. And the Radiant Baby also has lines radiating out from the baby. And then some shorter. Okay, 